It is our fourth day at Sundance. We had to pull over on the side of the road to take video of this horse. It's just so beautiful and nice. He's just nodding his head. Hey there, buddy. How are you? It's like he's saying, welcome to Sundance. So on today's vlog, I'm going to recap some of my favorite VR, AR experiences from Sundance this year. One of the scariest, most thought-provoking visions to premiere at New Frontiers is Asad Malik's The Jester. The AR experience uses the magic leap to take viewers through a reverse Turing test with the goal of determining if you're a human or robot. Through the use of ominous music and frighteningly realistic graphics, the Jester transports the audience into a little boy's bedroom where he uses a key to reunite rats locked up in a cage only to see them attack and kill one of the rats on the outside. There's a woman now reading a boy a bedtime story, and they're both wearing all white clothing, so it's kind of freaky. Hey, <sighs> so the woman just turned away from the bed and screamed. She saw something here. I don't know what it is. It scared the hell out of me. I had to take off my headset. It was that loud and that scary. At the end of the experience, the real child appears from behind the wall, and you have to choose between the rats devouring you or the little boy. Malik commented in a Q&A that around 80% of men choose the child, and 80% of women pick themselves. For the sake of the video, I picked the boy. Sacrifice the child. I'm real sorry you failed the test. The experience will not start. No, no, little boy. Come back. I interviewed Malik and many of the New Frontiers creators, which I'll be posting as separate videos throughout the week. Another favorite of the festival was a mixed reality theater performance called S. Perpento that combines live actors with real-time animated projections. The main character puts on a VR headset and becomes a blind poet stumbling around an augmented dark world of police brutality that seemed all too real. Some of my group actually thought the main actor was starting to have a mental breakdown from the headset blindness and the booze consumption. I want satisfaction. I came here because there's a person working at this police station who needs to be punished for what he did to me. Many pieces at Sundance blurred the line between the artist and the viewer. One such that stood out was Tech Max Griselli, which is a visual journey of the virtual shadow through a galaxy of previous viewers at the festival. Sundance again left me incredibly inspired with the VR and AR performances and visual pieces. I can't wait to see these things blossom in the real world, although I'm not sure if some of them will actually be able to stand out in the same way. Stay tuned for future Sundance posts by hitting that notification button. Today's vlog was shot with the extremely cheap and affordable $400 Kandao Kukam, which I've conveniently put in my Amazon store if you'd like to purchase one. I'm starting a vlog survey, so please let me know if you watched today's video in 3D or VR on your cell phone or a computer. Thanks again, and have a great day. Thank you so much, Sundance Film Festival, for giving us the press badge this year. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I hope I earned your subscription. Hit that notification button, and we'll see you in the next video in VR. Peace. See you later, buddy.